Hi, I'm Shane Phillips, the Chief Executive Officer of the Phillips Group, and we are here at the HR Summit and Expo, the number one HR event in the Middle East, and we're here with Professor Tammy Erickson of London Business School. Professor, welcome. Thank you. Good nice to be here. Thanks for coming. One of the areas you're really working in now is uh, how leaders should drive change within uh, the current environment. Um, can you give us a little insight about your latest work in this area? Absolutely. You know, everybody seems to agree that organizations today have to operate differently. I hear words like agility and collaboration all the time. And yet, when people start to talk about those concepts, they go back into organizations that aren't able to execute. So people know what the idea of agility is. You want to make a decision fast, for example. But their organizations are so hidebound in terms of the way they're structured that they couldn't make a decision fast and execute uh, under any circumstance. So a lot of the work that I do helps very senior leaders understand their role in driving that change, which often has to do with creating a different organizational context. For example, they should own less and rent more. They should give themselves more options. They should look to more of a coordination function where they're uh, not necessarily locked into long-term plans but can tap resources on an as-needed basis. So those kinds of changes make a huge difference in the ability of people throughout the organization to actually execute on some of the goals that people say they have. So yeah, these individuals, I mean, to be successful in the future, we need to kind of lose the traditional organizational structure which we've been running with. Yeah, absolutely right. I mean, I admire the industrial organizational structure tremendously if your goal is to create scale and low cost go with it, perfect. But if your goal is to innovate, to collaborate, to sense, to be agile, to create custom relationships, that structure doesn't work at all. You've got to completely rethink the way you run your organization if you want to move into these new kinds of uh, ways of competing. Are there any organizations you feel which are doing this well now or have embraced these, these changes or are we still all knuckle dragging uh. in this area? <laughs> Well, I think we run everything uh, across the gamut, including organizations that have kind of uh, dove in head first. I mean, one example, of course, is the Chinese company Hire, which spun off all of its manufacturing into 4,000 independent enterprises so that people would have the agility to pick and choose and have contracts with the kinds of relationships that they need to execute on the specific requirements for the customer uh, niche that they were focused on. That's a really radical way to do it, but yes, we've got everything from that to people who are making more gradual changes. That's Professor Tammy Erickson from the London Business School giving you the latest insights on some of the current leadership research and work that's being done in this area. I'm your host Shane Phillips from the Phillips Group and we're at the HR Summit and Expo, the number one HR event in the Middle East.